look at the size of that. This absolute beast. Coming right up to my neck. Whoa. Oh! My name's Jack Randall, and I'm a zoologist. Wow! And I'm showing you every animal on the planet. They're not seeing me as a threat. Spinning cobra! Hello. Absolutely gorgeous. Going about their business. Yes. Come on, let's go. In this episode, I'm going to show you the loudest and perhaps the most feared snake in the whole of Southern Africa. You'll know him as the Puff Adder. The morning is a perfect time to find the Puff Adder because they're just moving very slowly to find their ambushing position and hiding place for the rest of the day. And that will be amongst these really long grasses where most prey items won't see that they're there or any predators as well because even though they're big and venomous there are animals that actually have specialized in eating them i think that's a tortoise yeah it is a leopard tortoise oh, hello leopard tortoise oh wow these are really quite a common species just crossing the road they love actually when it gets this kind of heat they start moving this is about mid-aged they get much bigger, but this is about middle size compared to the baby we saw the other day. There's not many other places in the world where you'll see tortoises at the kind of density that we've got in Africa. There's more species of tortoise in Africa than any other continent on the planet, land tortoise, and the density of them is actually quite incredible. You think, how can this land support so many tortoises? But the thing is, they're grazers. They just literally are grazing all of the vegetation around. So there's lots of food and they can withstand very little rain so they're perfectly adapted for this environment where for eight nine ten months of the year there's absolutely zero rain the tortoise is going on from one side of the road to the other we're going to say goodbye to you and carry on our adventure right let's go and see if we can find the puff adder i'm heading down to a spot known for a very high density of puff adders it's got great habitat for them and their prey semi-open plains with thick grasses and bushes and that's perfect. These long grasses, I'm going to walk very slowly and just use my snake hook, brush it along just ahead of me because these snakes, they are like landmines. They sit very still. They're not going to be moving very quickly because they're ambush predators. Most snakes will sliver away before you get close to them and it's a chase, but with a puff adder it's totally different. And what they're doing at this time of morning is just slivering very, very, very slow and deliberately. And they actually move forward in a forward fashion like a caterpillar, which is really quite bizarre. So I'm just looking for tiny bits of movement or one that's just slayed completely still. this out. So we've got here a track. That's a puff adder. You can see it's kind of a very, very faint but quite wide track just going straight, straight forward. I reckon he's gone that way. So we'll just keep following this track. Where there's one, there's a lot of them. Believe me, there's a high density of puff adders in this area. Oh, toad! Oh. Yes! Wow, okay, that's a good sign. So we've got food for the puff adders. These ones are hopping around in the morning looking for little insects. The puff adder would gobble these up very easily, probably every day if one would come by. You see this toad hopping around while the puff adder will be sitting there just waiting very silently, completely still, completely camouflaged. There's no way this toad would know that there's potentially a predator just around the corner. Right, I'm gonna set you free. Good luck, don't get eaten by the puff adder. Okay, there you go. Wow, that's exactly what we've been going for. Woo! 
That is intimidating. Look at the size of that. That's an absolute beast. I'm going to need my bigger snake hook here. This is the shore. You have to be extremely careful with these snakes because they have explosive lunges. Their strikes, if they feel under threat, is unbelievable. I've seen puff adders literally jump up in the air and strike at the same time. It's probably one of the only snakes that can actually strike more than its body length because it has that lunge. So what I'm gonna do is just get him out. Do not be deceived by the speed of this snake because they can actually go very, very fast. Okay, I, I, this is just really scary. Okay, I'm going out into the open. Oh, that's why they call him a puff adder. Okay, now he's grumpy. Okay, we really have to be careful because the speed of a puff adder, when they're like this, is incredible. And then they S up in a position. Okay, he's starting to warm up and he's aware that he's now been found. Wow! Okay, that's the S position. That's the S position. They can get up like that. And, oh, this is an adrenaline rush, I tell you. Getting right up to this puff adder. It's coming right up to my leg. Whoa! Do you now it? Oh! Do you see that? Oh! Do you see that? Wow! Okay. I got a little bit too close and he struck out. Whew! That's for caterpillar fashion. You see the way those ventral scales are moving backwards and forwards. And it's just a very, very slow moving snake when it's like this. But when he feels under threat, wants to get away, boom! really quick. Something that, it's a misconception that puff adders are slow. They are fast. What well, interesting what they do, the male, they're actually releasing a pheromone as they're moving across the landscape in order to attract the female to come along. This is the breeding season during the rains. Puff adders will be breeding as much as possible. So I'm just going to grab the GoPro so you can see what it's like to be face to face with a puff adder. anywhere near as loud as you can go. But you can actually just see where he's just inhaling through those nostrils. And then just exhaling. And that gives you that typical huffy puffy. I think we've got enough of the GoPro. There you go, the puff adder, yes. One of the most feared snakes out here in Africa causes the most amount of fatalities of any other snake in this continent. And that's simply because he stays still. If you're walking across this bushland barefoot and you didn't realize there's a puff adder hiding underneath the grass, you stand on him, bam, he's gonna sink those fangs, really long fangs into your foot. And it has incredibly excruciating, painful, bite because the fangs are so long and the venom is extremely potent and it's cytotoxic venom that causes necrosis. Woo! The puff adder, you beauty. It's very heavy. My arm is starting to ache. So I'm going to put you down and we're just going to watch you go off through the bush. I think we've had enough time with him and such. I've pushed my luck a little bit. The beautiful thing about Africa, you've just got animals everywhere. Puff adder. Yes.